Hello, so today we're going to go ahead and start talking about time and where does time go in a, in a sentence structure. So if your sentence has time, what do you do with it? Where do you put it? So we have two sentences that we're going to look at um, and in this video we're going to talk about this first set sentence and in the next video we'll do the second second sentence. So first, what we do, we always do is identify the object, the subject, the verb, and now we're going to also add the time. Uh, but don't remember there's also negatives, there's modals, uh, modal verbs, uh, WH, but that's not here. So we have our subject, we have a verb, we don't need to, uh, class is our object, and yesterday is our time. So we have them all labeled. Um, and now, time is always, always, always going to go first. It's the first thing in the sentence. Um, so that's always going to come right here at the beginning. And it needs to be in the beginning because in ASL, um, we don't have different signs for go versus going versus went. There's no difference in sign. So you need to tell the person the time first so they understand the tense of the sentence, so they understand uh, the past tense or this future tense, is this happening now, um, so they can make those adjustments in their own head. So time always has to come first for that very reason. So we have the sign for yesterday. That's going to come first, so let's go ahead and put that over there. Um, who is next, right? Me, wait, hold on. <laughs> no, that's not right. Um, I'm forgetting things, right? Uh, object comes next. Object, subject, verb. So we have time, and then objects, and subject, and verb. Uh, oh gosh, I keep doing it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> class. Class is coming next. Okay. So yesterday, class. Uh, what about the class? Uh, me. Or who about the class? I am. Uh, so I excel, right? We write in class. Um, and I am going to that. So now, uh, you're going to notice, right, I'm not writing the word went. I write the word go uh, because this is our gloss, and I want to match words and signs together, and I don't want to have to think about, okay, what's the sign for go, what's the sign for want, what's the sign for going. I only want to think of one word whenever I want to sign the sign for go, went, going. So I never write going or went. I always just write the word go. So when I see the word go in my gloss, I know exactly what to sign. I don't have to think something different. Remember, gloss has no meaning. So there's no reason to write all these. And this is to help you know what sign you need to, to sign next. That's all the purpose of gloss is for, is not to hold meaning. So, first time, yesterday, so what about yesterday, class, what about yesterday, I, and what about that, I went, or I go. Okay. So now, go ahead and try to see if you can do this by yourself before watching the next video, and then when you're ready, go watch the next video to see if you got it correct.